Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. And the first video of actually doing something on the uh, <clears throat> on this different server. Um, since the other one, yeah, I, I tried again to get it going, but it just really is not playing ball. Um, so anyway, today is going to be all about, um, all about the power, really. I've had this one little oil generator going and that's pretty much it for everything at the moment um, I'm gonna soup that up and make it run off something a bit better than oil so what I've been toying with is if we grab some canola and what we need to do is we need to throw uh, let's throw 32 in there blast it with that and we end up with 32 crystallized and then what we're going to do <clears throat> is grab these and put 16 in there 16 in there 16 in there 16 in there and 16 of the crystallized in the middle and as you can see, I've got this nice and automated now. Pretty funky sort of stuff. And this is giving us empowered canola seeds out the other side. And what we can do with the empowered canola seeds, let's just grab eight of them, that'll do. What we can do is, if we get some of this oil, drop it down, and we throw, first of all, the crystallized, and then an empowered, we end up with empowered oil bucket. Uh, and this is gonna give us, as you can see, I've been testing it in here, um, running into this. Uh, this little lever here turns off, turns off the normal oil. Oops, I just managed to grab a bucket of oil accidentally. Uh, and this will throw that oil out anyway. It'll get down to using um, using the empowered oil, and that is 350 RF per tech anyway, is where we're getting to with that in the oil generator. So rather than 100, we end up with 350. We should be able to run, I don't know, maybe four or six of these. I've sort of heard that one of these canola presses will power two fermenting barrels, and a fermenting barrel, uh, or two fermenting barrels can do either three, yeah, I think it's two to three oil generators. Anyway, we'll see that when we get there. The tricky bit is gonna be automating this, dropping the oil out. Uh, and dropping all the components in. We're gonna try and use just actually additions for this. So there's things called the automatic precision dropper, which we'll use to drop some of the stuff. Uh, the fluid placer looks like a good thing to place the fluid, funnily enough. Uh, we're gonna have, yeah, I think you need to make some more oil generators. Um, auto placer, yeah, the auto placer is just used. Uh, fluid collector, cool. Uh, so we're going to need the fluid collector as well. Uh, and that should be it. We're going to need a few extra bits and pieces. Um, the ESD, experienced source deriver. These change names every so often. Extreme sand digger, ending serious daughter, all that sort of stuff. Um, these things let you, well, if we look in the book, the ESD is a block. It's like, it's like an advanced hopper, basically, uh, where you can choose where stuff goes. So we may have to use a couple of those just to drive... Um, the droppers and things so we don't end up with tons of seeds everywhere although yeah I've got plenty of seeds so it's not really a problem uh, the other thing in my testing that I did find is if you have oil in here and you drop a canola in it changes it but if you drop another one in nothing drop that one in and it makes the thing but if you put say you accidentally put a few of these in first like that and then put that in it uses up all of the seeds so we're gonna have to sort of be careful with what we do with this we're gonna have to make sure that we put one bucket of oil and then one of each of these sorts of seeds in here uh, we're gonna need to automate this somehow as well um, I do have another set of these that I've made specifically for this so I'm gonna start setting that sort of stuff up over here um, so anyway that is what this episode's about I'm gonna have to run away and make a ton of stuff for this I'm gonna need to make a few more fermenting barrels a bunch of these machines here um, a bunch of the tiny redstone the um what is it the advanced circuit super circuit maker 
this stuff here i'm going to need some of these uh, and then we'll be back and see if we can put it all together um, so i will see you back here in just a bit Alrighty, I am back and I have made a ton of things here. Um, as you can see, I am just putting the last touches on something I needed to make, namely a palette and brush. Where are the wood planks? Do I not have any wood planks anymore? Spruce wood, that'll do. Oops. Uh, so we need one there. There's the brush. I don't have enough room for that and I kind of need everything else um, if I put the brush and thing here there we go palette and brush excellent we can now throw that back there and you can see a little palette down the bottom right hand side now I think the default key is yeah so right alt uh, sorry left alt changes the color so we can go we want blue and now we're set to blue anyway what we're going to do is back over here i've changed things around a tiny bit i've made an extra fermenting barrel and uh, move them up a slot we have our canola press outputting from the side and inputting to the side of the fermenting barrels they only work on the sides uh, likewise with output uh, i have a i think what a fluid placer which i'm going to put right there and as you can see i've got a little bit of oil still left in it because i was testing this a little bit just before we started uh, i'm going to put this liquid monitor here and set that to fluid placer with 13 percent less than 30 um, percent and that'll become clear shortly uh, the only other thing i need are the precision droppers one there one there and where are we the fluid collector there so the idea is this space here is where the fluid placer is going to throw some oil into here one of these is going to put well this one can put crystallized canola seed and this one can do empowered canola seed um, you can also see on the tooltip there it says redstone mold pulse so these things need a pulse to output the liquid and one each of the seeds uh, this fluid collector here uh, is set to deactivation now I can kind of see a way where this will sort of fail a little bit, unfortunately, but um, we'll see how we go. So what we're gonna do is use Precision Circuit Maker, sorry, Super Circuit Maker, to do that, to get around to all the blocks. And then we're going to come out of here. Now I've got some bundled wire here as well. Now we're gonna need to, oh, we might need more bundled wire, unfortunately. Uh, maybe not, we might, we might see how we go. It's just expensive to make the bundled wire is the reason I'm, I'm hesitating here. All right, so we're gonna have ourselves a, one of these, which will flash away. So as you can see, it's flashing. If we add that to there and then shift right click that, no longer flashing and that's because this is only well this is outputting a redstone when it's less than 13 percent 13 percent is just over a bucket i think it's about 1.2 or 1200 millibuckets so this is definitely under um, that 13 percent which means we've got no pulsing happening that then goes to there and to there and we're also going to run to there Run all the way around and run all the way around now this is where we get a bit interesting because I'm going to need to leave some space here to there and all the way to there oh we don't have enough but I do in bag cool so those aren't quite connected yet i haven't pushed uh, i haven't gone here and done the shift right click thing to join them just yet i'm a bit nervous about <laughs> joining those three up with this pulsar um, and then the other thing we're going to need to do is we're going to use the quartz resonator to do a delay coming off this wire here so what i was thinking of doing is either having all of this bundled uh, which we could potentially do we just need a lot more yeah i don't think i've got enough wool unfortunately oh actually we can make wool pretty easily let's go and make a bunch of this 
Maybe you don't need to undo all that cable. I'll grab it later. I may need to undo a lot of that cable that I made. So let's do this. We're going to need string. Oh, look at that. we got heaps of string. Heaps of string. And with string, we can make wool. Fantastic. So tiny ones of those. Those there. Those there. Make some more of them. Um, we are definitely going to need more. Uh, of this. Whoops. <laughs> wow. Look at that. We've used up all that string pretty quickly. What was I looking here for? Well, that's right. Make some more of that. 30. I don't know if 30 is going to be enough, unfortunately. It's only going to be two of those. Okay, so let's go out here and now I always use left click now just in case we end up with some more of those verdant sprigs. Looks like I didn't get any this time, unfortunately. This is just a little bit more mucking around than I was anticipating just dump that all right 36 let's see how we go sprint back down now we're only going to need to go to here somewhere so let's go to here There, how many more have I got? 17. Right, so that's cool. Now, what we're going to do is we're also going to feed from here straight into the colored cable. We're going to make sure that this is blue. So blue is the one that we want for our pulse. Now how many more of these have I got? One, two, three, four, five. Cool. And there's a reason I'm coming all the way out here. Now where's my palette? We need to color that blue. Excellent. And now hold down the alt again and we will go for something like red. And red will come out here. And red will come out there like that. Excellent. And we're going to need to make that get a signal from there as well. Awesome. Now, the other thing we wanted was our quartz resonator. That's interesting. Leaves it there. So this here, if we right click with that, it's uh, a delay. So basically 40 ticks is two seconds. So we might, we might just leave it at a second actually. And then we can have that go out of here and in like that. Now we can color this as well. We probably don't need to because it's coming out the other side of the resonator. Uh, but what this means is while this is on, this thing will be disabled. So we want that to stay disabled for a little bit longer than when this pulses. So what we'll do is we will right click there and right click there and right click on that one. So now our three things that need a pulse are set up to accept the pulse from this, which will start pulsing as soon as this redstone goes off. And remember the redstone will go off as soon as it gets above 30%, which is about, yeah, as I said, just over a bucket. But whenever this goes off, it'll also turn off the signal to this with a one second delay. Now I might, I might just, I will make that two seconds. 
Now, what it'll mean, what it'll mean is this will turn off after two seconds, which means this will activate and will take the liquid and hopefully all the stuff into itself and be our super nice pink uh, empowered oil. Hopefully. <laughs> That's the theory anyway. So I wonder if I can just put this oil straight into here. I can. 1600. Oh. So that's flashing, but nothing is happening. Now that is interesting. I wonder why nothing is happening. Ah, right. So this is another tricky little thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I haven't got this accepting. In fact, this is the same as over here. We need to actually do that so that it accepts a signal from there. This one here needs to accept a signal from there, and that needs to accept a signal from there. So oil's gone out. Ah, right, it's only just done the oil bucket in there. So this was probably on a delay for too long. So that will now be on. Let's throw that in there. Oof, that was fast. What did we get though? We did get empowered oil out the other side, but we also got ooh, a bunch more crystallized stuff than we wanted. So let's put that back into there. Now I wonder if I can tune this. Oh, look at that, every 20 ticks. So if we make this, actually this should be fine at 20 ticks. Let's make this three seconds because we're not gonna generate a bucket every three seconds I don't think so let's just throw that in there so we have less than a bucket right so let's grab one of them throw it in wow okay and that just got oil straight back out I think it's because I'm standing here and I shouldn't be standing here, but it did tick a lot of times. Okay, let's make this, make that 40 ticks, and we'll make this 80 ticks. Grab the oil back out of there. Is it empty? Yes, it's empty. And we should be able to throw it in. I wanna stand away, but I wanna be able to see it. There you go, tick. And go on. 12. Awesome. 12. And a bucket of that. Cool. So let's try that again. All three of them go in. Makes the empowered. This thing sucks it back out. Turns itself back off again because it's on the delay. And this is now below 30%. Excellent. And what do we got here? The last bucket for there. Look at that. Working really well. We're just going to have to make sure we don't stand too close to it, unfortunately. So what I might do is we'll just run it properly and see where this gets to. So I think 30%, I could probably set it to 12% really, but it doesn't really matter. There we go, 1.2, out, in, pink, and done. Awesome. Cool, so now all we need to do is probably pipe this off into another tank somewhere and set up our two oil generators. And we now have, in fact, what I might do is I'll move this generator over to here as well. And then we might need to also use the super circuit maker to make sure, like one of the things I've noticed with this is, this runs all the time even when this is full and I think that wastes power. So what we might do is we'll set up a system where, I don't know, we run everything through maybe one of these HV capacitors first and if that HV capacitor uh, gets like over halfway full, um, then we'll stop generating power. That way we shouldn't waste any and if we have another couple of capacitors out the other side, it may um, just help our storage as well. So that is all rather cool. That's actually really neat. That works really well. 
throw some more in there. Runs pretty quickly too. I don't think we're gonna, see there's two buckets in there. I just need to make sure that like maybe we encase this in glass or something so we can't get close to it. Because if we accidentally pick up those seeds, it's not good. Three buckets. <laughs> I could sit here and watch this for ages actually. It's pretty cool. Cool, so what I might do is, because this episode's gonna run a little bit long otherwise, and this is kinda crazy, I'll um, I'll cut this here. Uh, in the break between this episode and next one, what I will do is I will take out this oil generator, I'll throw three of the oil generators along here, and I'll set up uh, a system. Actually, it's kinda similar, similar to what this is doing, actually, which is basically stopping it from importing canola once there's enough oil in there and that sort of helps with some of the waste uh, it stops this from continuously using power which means that this continuously gen generates power i think i've mentioned that before um, but we do have this issue now where you see that is completely full and we're still generating power and that's just wasting the power it's not going anywhere uh, because the burn cycles started so um, what we'll do is uh, yeah i may set that up off camera um, before we come back next time because next time i want to automate another one of these probably over here somewhere and that'll help us generate these crystallized canola seeds and empowered canola seeds in the first place and we'll make sure um, we got the right amounts of those so um that is it for me this is a rather nifty little thing if i do say so myself not overly complicated either um but as i said it just seems to work really really well like that's that's really cool Alrighty, so anyway, um, that is all from me. As always, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.